So recently I've been doing these videos about roles in Football Manager and it got me thinking, where could we find the perfect example of these players? And in some cases we can't find them, but we can create them. Today we're going to try and create the perfect wide target forward. Right, it's one of the most underused roles and probably for a reason because there's no player really that's a natural at it. In fact, if you go to your player search and say you were to look for the role, it's right down here somewhere, but very, very rarely you're going to get a player that's identified as a natural wide target forward. In fact, if I do it by value, you can see there that Bob Omaregabi in Serie C is the highest value natural wide target forward. That brings up another argument about what is a natural position for a player. It's very much what you think, really. I would not be guided by the star ratings. For example, down here, Marcus Turan. If you look at him just straight away, you'll think he's an inside forward. But he's got three stars for winger, inverted winger. He can also play up front. It's up to you to decide what his best position would be, judging by his attributes. Ironically enough, he's probably a pretty good wide target forward. He's got the height. He's got the physicality, he's got the heading ability, he'd be pretty good. In fact, I used Mr. Taran for my wide target forward video because he's that good of an example of it. Now, if I focus on wide target, so I've got him selected there, you can see the attributes that the game tells you are pretty important for it. So attribute-wise, what we're looking at. Now, the game tells you crossing, finishing, first touch, heading under the technical department. I'm happy to disregard crossing, however, because players that you can put around the wide target forward will mean that they can do that job for you. The others, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'd probably chuck in technique as well. Mentally, it's saying anticipation, bravery. That's really good for considering he's going to be going up for a quite a lot of headers if he is the target. Off the ball, teamwork, work rate. I've got no problem with that. I would love to add in a bit of decision making as well. Composure wouldn't go amiss. Physicality is all about the wide target forward. Balance, jumping reach, stamina, strength. Yeah, we'll tick all those boxes. So now I've got a good idea of the type of player I want. The raw aspects of it. I'm going to totally disregard his position now and find the perfect version to mould ourselves. So the first thing I want to do on this journey is make sure that he's a young player. I do believe you can retrain players of a different age. I'm going to go for under 22. I'm also going to reset that role. We don't want any role at all. Next, I'm going to pick some of the key attributes that we just talked about. I picked a range there, but I'm also going to drop the condition for the attribute to be at least down to 10 because let's be realistic here, right? And the results of that, well, they're pretty extensive. You can see there, there's an absolute ton of players, a ton. So that should tell us that there is a load of players that we can retrain to do that role. I'm just looking to the side there. There's defenders, there's wing backs, there's central midfielders, there's strikers. There's all sorts who have got that group of attributes there that will be able to begin to retrain for that position. There is actually too many, so we're gonna narrow it down still further. When you look at the attributes selected that we deem key for the wide target forward role, they are actually quite generic, is that the word? Basically attributes that any player from any position could have. So let's bring in a couple more to help aid us in that attacking setup. So composure, which will come in really handy. And how about a little bit of anticipation? Alongside that, we started at a pretty conservative level of 10, at least 10. So let's rejig this and get a little bit more aggressive on our hopes and bump it up to 12. Now I'm impressed that I can see, judging by the slider, that the options are way less. So thanks to those tweaks, the list now is probably down to about 20, 20 players. And we can see there, some are established. Like, we don't really want to make a Jude Bellingham into a wide target forward. I think he's doing all right where he is. Same with the likes of Raven, Graven, Birch and Timber, Evan Ferguson. There's some players lower down, however, that haven't quite got their potential maxed yet in real world football. Potentially, we could do something for them. For me, there's two players on this list that really stand out that'll be good candidates for this mission. The first is Joshua Xerxes, who's now 22. He's been highly thought of for years, but he's never really got going. There you see, he's in the early stages, you know, of a bit of a journeyman career here. And looking at his profile, he probably would retrain pretty quickly. He's had a little bit of experience playing out there. But what have we got from him? We've got six foot four, we've got the physicals, we've got everything we need. He's also got the added bonus of technique as well. Now, the other one is the raw talent of Lorenzo Lucha. Now, the positives for Lorenzo is the height, obviously, six foot seven. That jumping reach is wild at 17. Add that with the six foot seven, heading of 16, the passing's decent. The mental attributes are very good. If you look at his career, I feel like he's a good example of someone who needs to be rescued as well. He's been everywhere at such a young age. In nine years, how many clubs is that? Eight or nine? It's more ambitious, this one, because he's literally just played as a forward. There's no hint of him playing anywhere else. 
So both Lucha and Xerxes are great candidates, but I think we're going to take charge of Florenzo Lucha's development and see if we can craft him into the perfect wide target forward, because on the face of things, he would be ideal. So first things first, we take charge at Udinese. As with his career, he's currently on loan at Udinese, so we will take charge of this season at Udinese to try and get the best out of him. Now, he's got some player traits already. Shoots with power, that's fine. Plays with back to goal, also fine. In fact, they're fine, but we're going to look to add to those. But the first thing we're going to do straight away is train that position. I'm going to put him on the right-hand side, and we're going to train him as a wide target forward on attack to build that familiarity. That's the first stage, and straight away you can see it highlights the attributes it deems for that role and he's pretty well covered it's just the crossing but we've talked about that we're going to build the formation around him now which will mean that crossing will be less essential but stage one in making this perfect wide target forward is done he's retraining him into that position now stage two will be to build a tactic around that role and to maximize his development okay so i've built this tactic basically for that guy i'm not too bothered about how the team finish in the league it's all about his development so let me talk you through it now so a key part for the wide target forward to be successful is to have players and movement in and around him. And if you can see down this entire right-hand side, really, we've got players to either overlap him, underlap him, or simply be around him. So the first stage, you've got wing back on attack. So like we said, he's going to do the crossing from this area so our wide target forward doesn't need to. Expect him to overlap all the time. But basically, because he's wing back on attack, he's going to be high up. So it's going to be close to him quite often. Next up, we've got our Volante coming from deep. So when the wide target forward does get the ball, he's going to have someone to lay it off just behind him there or just to the left of him. The Volante will be in this area loads of the time as a really attacking option from deep in midfield. And if those two aren't available, we're going to have a deep line forward. He's going to roam around a little bit, but again, close to the wide target forward. So he's going to have options whenever the ball gets to him. Now, a few simple team instructions just to get the best out of him. Focus play down the right, obviously, to get the ball down that side a little bit more often. And in transition, we're going to take long kicks and we're going to aim specifically for that player. So that's stage one and two done. Stage one was training, so make sure he's training that position. Stage two was to build a formation right around him. And stage three is very simple. It's to play him there. And we're going to do that now in pre-season. First preseason friendly was against a weak team, so a decent little start. And you can see him here holding the ball up, laying it back, and that was the wing back close to him. Another friendly here is involved in loads of aspects of this move. There's the first one, holds it up, lays it back, still has that option. If I pause it there, look at all the players around him. He's got four players around him, which is ideal for him. Little ball inside, give and go. There he is again, linking up. There's the wing back with license to go forward, and that leads to a goal. That's nice. And this is why we wanted a bit of passing ability from him as well. He just finds himself in the inside channel here, and you can see you've got your forwards rushing on, finds a little pass through. Good stuff. So overall, a pretty successful preseason there. Seven appearances, four goals, three assists. Now the assists is a dead cool one. Really happy with where that started. Work to do. You can see that it has started though on his position map here, his positional abilities map. We're starting, we're starting. Having a six foot seven player on the wing, an added bonus is telling your opposite wing back to hit the far post, which means Lorenzo Lucha can just dominate the fullback that's marking him. Well, it's not been a great start. Seven games, one goal, one assist. Not a disaster. But the good news is he has taken to this new role fast. Look at that. He's already very, very capable of playing in that position. Stage four is to hit some additional focuses to make him improve still further. And we're going to go with attacking movement. So off the ball, anticipation and decisions will get improved. Halfway through the season, really good progress. He's going to fulfill his potential in this position, it looks like. We have now lost count the amount of times that Zamura down the left whips it to the back post and he just trashes it. Nobody's safe. Here he is doing it again against Lazio. But this is my favourite. How about a little knockdown for a strike partner? With only a month of the season left, he's now an absolute natural in that position as a wide target forward and he's had a beast of a season with 14 goals in his 31 matches with 6 assists. As we've seen, his development has been really good starting low and then he's worked his way up to a potential ability of four star. That's the season wrapped with Udinese. They finish a staggering third place, by the way, qualifying for the Champions League above Inter Milan. Not bad at all. Scored 65, conceded 46. They did lose nine matches, but hell, decent. The final tactic to get the best out of him is there. I made a couple of tweaks here and there, but it's pretty much the one we start the season with. Minor few tweaks. It's called the Lucha. I'll give it to the Patrons. That'll be on your homepage. 
But it was all about this man and progressing him and progressed he has with his best season ever. 15 goals, 37 appearances, 7 assists. And you saw in them clips how much he dominated that back post. Now a complete natural in the role as well. So what we found is you don't need a perfect role for a player. You can build it if their attributes line up perfectly. I think we've pretty much made the perfect wide target forward with Lucha.